And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some deep sea monsters. We're going to be uh, playing this deck that's going deep. Um, you know, we got Nautilus, Thresh, Maokai. Those are going to be our champions. And of course, we got all these sea monsters at the top end. Um, and, you know, trying to go deep. I'm sure y'all seen this deck. This, this is a deck that um, we discussed being a pretty big winner after patch 1.2. Uh, with the metagame getting a little slower uh, and this deck not being affected at all because this deck has a great late game um, with all these sea monsters and everything and so a slower metagame is uh, good for this deck. So I want to give it a try myself. We played this list about two weeks ago and uh, it felt pretty solid at the time but yeah let's let's run it back. It's also just thinking like people have been asking like how do you beat the sea monsters? And I didn't have a, I don't have like a great answer, and so I kind of wanted to play it myself and see if, like, see what, uh, see what it would maybe struggle against, you know, like, and uh, everything like that, and just see how it, see how it feels. Um, so yeah, let's give uh, Deep Sea Monsters a chance. This could be, you know, one of the best decks right now, but we need to kind of test it out and see how, it, see how it does. Vladimir Sejuani. I played Vladimir Sejuani yesterday, and it was awesome. That probably means that it's going to be awesome for my opponent, and we're going to die. Alright, I'm going to cast this right now, and not untap and cast it. Because I don't want to draw a sea monster for turn. So playing this means it's a little bit less chance that we draw a sea monster per turn. Where if I play it, if I draw my card first, um, then, you know, we have this extra sea monster that's in the deck. So, like, maybe we draw that Devour the Depths. But I don't really want to draw a Devour the Depths right now. Joke debate. Yeah, Sea Monsters is basically a, a mill deck. A secret mill deck. These aisles will be cleansed. Will no one listen? Poor man's gone mad. Hello, my darling. Let's obliterate that thing. Okay, so no elixir of iron. Let's see what they'll make. If I block the other way around, then Vladimir would have two toughness, and we would be able to uh, have a sapling try to kill it the next turn. Um. I guess it'd be. That's right, 19. So we can toss four. We're four away from deep. So we can play Maokai next turn.
or <laughs> how can I know? Nautilus. We can play Nautilus next turn. These biggest tombstones. Don't know if there's any like upside of casting it now or waiting and casting it like, during combat or something. Like I don't really know of any difference. Bow to no one. Looks like a pretty clutch ruination draw. Pretty clutch ruination draw. Good, we just, and we just uh, tossed the sea monsters, which is the cards that we want to toss. So am I supposed to play like the two jettisons first and then play Nautilus? Yeah, probably, right? And I don't have Glimpse Beyond available. But it just, you know, fills our deck up with more sea monsters and champions. Yeah, we just put five sea monsters back into the deck. Awesome. That was a clutch ruination. Yeah, exactly. After we correct, we would not want to toss after Nautilus. So basically, my options were. Play the Jettisons, then play Nautilus, or just never cast Jettison at all and play Nautilus and then have um, Glimpse Beyond available in case we need to, you know, in case they like had a removal spell and then we could draw a couple more cards and then I would just, I would just never play the Jettisons. Well, obviously Atrocity is going to go and I, I think I just keep this one, two, three. Pretty decent. Atrocity's always coming back. Make it rain. That's a trade I'm willing to make. For trouble, it found you. It found you. so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Do I chump block misfortune with Thorny Toad? What do y'all think? Do we block? Save three life, have our Thorny Toad die. The reason not to would be because you know we could glimpse beyond it later. Oh wow, they didn't even attack, so didn't even have to worry about it. I, I like the atrocities, honestly. They they are pretty impressive when I played the deck before and, and playing against um, this deck. I kept on losing to atrocity. You know, like I thought I was gonna be able to, you know, stabilize or win with with damage and stuff like that, and atrocity just killed me. I don't know where that happened. A couple of times yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I could see playing one instead of playing two. You want to play one instead of two? I'm fine with that. But I, I think that playing one atrocity is better than playing zero. I think the first the first atrocity is worth it to be in the deck. Mm. 
I thought about just playing like salvage this turn and setting up ruination the next turn. But now I don't have ruination set up. Need one more mana. Six away from deep. So close. Problem is this doesn't work against Mega Rain. Don't have make it rain. Uh, yuck. Make it interesting for me. I could. Um, no, I mean, if I pass priority, they're going to end the turn. And I just waste all that mana. I, I can't pass priority. I could have targeted the crack shot Corsair and it was safe. Getting rid of that. Draw something that costs four or less mana. Well, I guess that costs four or less mana. Too many expensive cards in hand. So I can't play... Hmm. I can't play Nautilus and anything else. I'm worried about playing Ruination and then the, then they play like another Gangplank and then go straight to combat and then I, I can't really do anything about a Gangplank at that point. 
So we're gonna go this route where I can untap, or like where if they go, you know, they go to, you know, play like a gangplank here, go to combat. I have double withering whale. to stay alive. Yuck. What is this? Really? Wow. Not expecting all that burn. Eight points of burn. I mean, obviously, I can play just one Withering Whale and then, but no, like, you best place to play both Withering Whales. Alright, should have gone after the 1 1 instead of the Misfortune. cost me that game. Did have to make it rain and yeah, it cost me that game. Ruination was not the best play. I mean, for what their hand ended up being, maybe, but I mean, they would have just, yeah, so they played like that 2 2. Hmm. They don't have very many, like, so it kind of seemed like, alright, so like if their only spells that cost three or less are like Make It Rain, Mystic Shot, and uh, Get Excited. That's pretty that's pretty awesome for Zap Sprayfin, like always getting like one of those good burn spells. Like that's That's pretty nice for Zap Sprayfin. and draw. They'll get us deep this turn. It's a great jettison draw. Lens Hunter! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Our third sub of the day. Welcome, welcome. There's no way to Oh, 
right, two and one. That, that game was a lot easier. That one drop is great in this deck. You know, toss three for one mana and you get a two one. That card is great. Is it toss three? Maybe it's toss two. It's still great. It is toss three. Wow, that's so good. We had two of those and a jettison. It's ten cards right there. Hmm. I'm not sold I'm supposed to be keeping Maokai. Could see that I'm supposed to be mulliganing it. I don't know. I definitely don't want Withering Whale against the Braum Vladimir deck. This is my worst card in my deck. And there's two of them. So good thing that we mulliganed and got them both in the opener. Good thing. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. Well, that's the thing. If they if their decks built correctly, they shouldn't. You said it's going to keep against the slow deck. I, this shouldn't be a slow deck if their decks built correctly. Like, like my Vladimir Sejuani deck is not a slow deck. Um, there's this, but Brom's a very slow card. These eyes see all. Go get them, Jaw Hunters. Fight or die. No, it's gonna be the same as what we, as the same deck that we ended up Set with during the last YouTube video. So normally, I would, like I, I think that Starlet Seer is a better card to get than normally would want to get Starlet Seer. But I am worried about Elixir of Iron protecting Starlet Seer, or Elixir of Iron doesn't protect the Ruthless Raider. And then also, we have a good chance of winning the really late game. Ruthless Raider does it, you know, is more aggressive, so we're going to take the more aggressive card. But yeah, we're going to do the Champion Elusives from like the at the end of the video, how we talked about changing and getting rid of Kinku Wayfinder. Um, we're going to do that deck with those changes because I haven't I haven't played. Uh, that deck with those changes that we talked about so yeah it'll be that and then just also new you know the new format um playing an, an aggressive deck in this new format rainbow poro These aisles will be cleansed. Oh, Find something for turn five. Looks like we got a thorny toad. Good draw. That's not very many. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Hmm. So I guess attacking with the sapling just levels up Vladimir. You can kind of think of it like that. Patience. 
All right, cool. Out of seven. That's it. So we're going for. We're doing our best. I want them to play Sejuani, so then I don't feel about, so I don't feel bad about ruination. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. Oh, the butchery we can. All right, together. same thing. I don't feel bad about that. Cause they're about to attack for a bunch. That should help out. They got six cards, we got seven. Well, being a, a good, healthy 17 life. Some treasures in there. I like our chances of winning this. And <laughs> treasures are just auto win an expedition. Dude, yeah, I bet I bet treasures. I mean, I, I bet just the sea monsters in general are just great in expedition whenever you have you already start with just less cards and uh, as long as you don't mill yourself out. Probably just great there. From the savage cold. Hmm. That's pretty good. Obviously, my plan was Nautilus, but I think we'll just get three 8-8s eight for five mana. That's ridiculous. Oh, sure, they just have Fearsome, because that's necessary. Why not? All right, we're three and one. And that one loss, I really didn't think we were losing until my opponents only had eight direct damage in response to my two withering whales to kill me while I was at eight. I didn't think we were losing that game either. I thought, Ugh, so we're that close to a 4-0. <laughs> yeah, treasures are still auto wins. Ladders or expedition. Hmm. So obviously atrocity's gone. Um, what do we think of these other cards? Just everything costs three. I'm gonna get rid of Dread Bloom Wanderer. I'm gonna keep Jaw Hunters. Oh, I guess I'm not attacking on turn three. We'll play like Wanderer on three as a blocker, and then Hunters on four. No, actually, let's get rid of that. No. Okay. All right. Final answer. Keeping the keeping all this. No, another hunters. To the mulligan wanderer. I don't have my, my Poro emote. I wish I did. All right, casting that right now because again, I'm a little, I'm behind. I don't want to draw a sea monster for turn. We have like a lot of ways to generate sea monsters, so I'm just gonna cast that right now. Uh, 
That's not a good draw. Twice as much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Better than eating. Here we go. Here we go. Obliterate Grizzled Ranger. Gotta keep him obliterated. Eh. Mm. We're a little ways away from deep. Basically doing this so that Set the hooks. Nah, that's game. Um so that I could play another thing with the dreg dread dredgers as well. I can cast grass. But now with the Scythria, I can't kill either of these. Uh, I need two more mana for grass plus atrocity. So, yep, that's it. Man, that was great. They had the single combat, which is like the only card in their deck they could have for that Grizzled Ranger, but then besides that, they had the two best two drops of the two War Chefs. That was, that was just, that was just perfect, and so they won. Yeah, and then of course the follow-up Scythria, perfect as well. Um, yeah, this Sea Monster deck feels really good. It feels really powerful. Uh, it took a couple of perfect things happening for us to lose. Um, I'm not sure what if there's like really anything that's that favored against the sea monsters, honestly, I don't, I don't know what, um, but yeah, this, this deck felt really good. Um, I'm also not sure about like three Maokai or one Thresh. I really want three Maokai, but I also really want one Thresh. We talked about this before starting to record. <clears throat> so I'm really not sure what to do there. Salvage uh, is a little slow. I don't think I like this Terror of the Tides too much. I think that card, this card can probably go. Ruination was awesome. I wouldn't mind playing a second Ruination, because yeah, the Ruination was really good for us. And I think Ruination is great in this format. This is one of the cards that I said that <clears throat> got a lot better, but, you know, we played against a lot of Vladimir's and Sejuani's and, you know, Gangplanks and all sorts of, like, big champions in, like, around five mana big champions, and since our deck's already slow and kind of behind, this is a great follow-up to opponents playing big champions. There's Ruination, and then, then you win the game fairly easily from there. So I think I'd probably want to go to Ruination and get rid of that Terror of the Tides. Or get rid of the Terror of the Tides for an Atrocity. That's the wrong card, sorry. Um, for a Vengeance for that card. And also, yeah, um, 
I think a two two atrocities may be a little heavy because there's not as like I don't know like it's a lot of mid range kind of running around and again like there's those those big expensive like those good really good big champions so I think I kind of want to split this up go one atrocity one vengeance um and then two ruinations at the top end uh that can kind of help out um against those really big heavy hitters but besides that felt really good and yeah i like it i like it so there we go um No, I think one ship recorder is just fine. I, I think this is just fine. It's, uh, you know, it's real good against uh, the slow control decks. It's not like we're having a ton of them. I think it's better than having the one eight drop. All right, so there's deep sea monsters. Um, those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, not only hit that like button over there, um, but also uh, leave those comments. Let me know if. Uh, let me know if you've been playing Deep Sea Monsters and how you're doing with it. Uh, are you struggling against anything? Like, like what what does the Deep Sea Monsters struggle against? Let me know over there um, on YouTube. Because I'm, I'm really interested. I'm, I'm intrigued by this deck. I'm intrigued with not only playing with it, but also playing against it. It's just kind of a little different. It's, it, fits in, it fits in a different spot than just your uh, traditional aggro mid-range control. It's uh, it's just like a really big mid-range deck, um, you know, or a you know like or a huge creature control deck. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of a little bit different, and so I'm wondering, uh, yeah, what what's it um, kind of struggling against? All right, uh, but that's it here for Deep Sea Monsters. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.